Hey everybody, welcome back to Extreme Heat Pete. Now today I'm doing a review of the Iceland Scarily Spicy Chicken Pizza. Now this has been cooking in my oven for the past 17 minutes. Smells really nice. Now I've heard mixed reviews of this pizza. I've heard people say it's not hot. People saying it's really, really hot. So I thought, seeing I've seen it, come back in, in the store, I thought I'd pick one up and uh, give it a whirl. So this is a wood fire, stone baked pizza, 24 hour rest of dough, even crispier base, and finished with delicious toppings and authentic Italian base. It's got warnings all over, warnings all over the box. Got warnings there, you've got warnings across the bottom here, warnings across the top there. Uh, Give this a go, see what it's all about. Put that down there for now. We'll keep this on the camera. Okay. One thing it's definitely got is heat. That is for sure. Base is nice and crispy. Nice tomato flavour on the base as well. The chicken is nice and tender. The main chilies on this pizza seem to be jalapenos. Which doesn't bother me, but if you're going to make something scary spicy, I'd put a reaper or habaneros or ghost peppers on it. So, I think it was three pounds from Iceland here in the UK. It's not bad, not bad tasting pizza. And you must certainly get value for money with it. <clears throat> it's not overly cheesy either. So they balance the ingredients just right with this pizza. So then half he knows. You've got red jalapenos, you've got green jalapenos, and spicy chicken. Now, I don't feel brave enough to add any sauce to it, because I don't think it needs sauce. Because sauce will just wash out the flavours of that chicken, tomato base, really nice cheese bottom there so mm. you're probably all wondering why I'm not eating the crust. Not a big fan of the crust. The crust on pizzas I like it around the edge of the crust. Just give me a bit a bit of a sweat building up on my brow. The heat sitting whilst to give it a heat rating I would say heat rating is about two and a half. Flavour rating, I'd give it a firm seven. Quality of the pizza, I'd give it a firm eight. But all round, really, really nice. Well done, Iceland. Well, I won't finish this pizza in this video. So. Oh, 
and I've done quite a few reviews of the scary spicy range from Iceland and I think I've only ever been spotted on one item which is something I did a few weeks back where it said it was really really hot and it turned out to be milder than a cold cold wind it was going it was stupid it was not milder not hot at all yeah my nose is starting to starting to run a bit uh, tongue's tingling right we're going to get one more piece down me or well, a cleared half a piece, and I'm going to save the other half. Let that go wrong. I received some pretty cool chilli mail from Extreme Heat Challenge, the guy at Extreme Heat Challenge today. <coughs> I received a bottle of their EHC Bonnet Rage sauce. Now I'm really looking forward to doing this. I'm going to post a review very soon of it. Probably go well with this pizza, no doubt. Or every chilli head's favourite chicken nuggets. Yeah, so look out for that in the coming weeks. Did more review of that sauce. It's quite a runny sauce, which is good. Oh, good in the sense that I hope it's not too vinegary. Wow. And the more I'm eating of that pizza, the more the heat's picking up. Is going to get a big thumbs up from EHB. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's four pieces out of an eight slice scary spicy pizza. That's enough for me now. I feel myself up too much. So now please head over to my sponsors Black Isle Built on some amazing tasting built on unbelievable prices. Also, someone's decided to put built on on a pizza. They're built on a pizza. I've been told it's absolutely amazing. So maybe I'm gonna try that one day. If I can make a packet last long enough to put on pizza. Also check out Henry's Hot Sauce. Flavor and Fire Instagram, Flavor and Fire Twitter, Flavor and Fire Facebook for some great tasting sauces, some great condiments. Uh, it, you can spice up any dish with this sauce. So go check it out. Prices are pretty good as well. This is also the man behind Pepe's Dream, which is way up there now. Uh, please remember to give me a big thumbs up today in Georgia today. Please share your friends and family. Smash that red button, turn it grey. Help me reach 250 subscribers where I will be taking on none other than the Wilshire Chili Farms World's Hottest Shot, which is a 63% proof rum infused with evil looking Carolina Reapers. I've seen people fail, I've seen people succeed. I'm hoping to be one of those people who succeed in that probably put me flat on my back backside, drunk as a skunk. But hey, hope it's a Friday night, but I do it. So get me to 250 subscribers, people, and you will see me take that on. Now for now, I've been extremely patient.
in my review of the Iceland wood fired stone baked pizza, scary spicy, made in Italy. Go check it out, grab yourself a pizza, and tell me what you think. Leave a message in the comments below. I'll reply to any what I receive. Now, I'll be a shoot, Pete. Bye.